really feel like they can. But they're just taking over. Objectively, right? Yeah. Objectively, no emotions attached. I think Fnatic have all the tools to take over the early game at the very least. Yeah, I mean, I think G2's read is that Fnatic. Behind, like, how many great players has Caps denied a title from? Yeah. <laughs> um, he's just that good as Mickey. Is this a repeat? Yeah. It is a repeat. Jun's going to hit level two, no and Mickey's going to die. Oh my they didn't even hit level two this time. <laughs> Noah, though, might die in response. Hans cleanses away, but he didn't anticipate the barrier. It's two. It's two for Noah and Jun in the bot lane. Surely this is Surely a this Surely this is Waiting around the corner, Vassal working his way up mid as well. Look guys, if you're not sure what to do, just put everyone in the mid lane and see what happens. Early games for Caps and Humanoid have been very much dictated by how many players there are around them. As we see Mickey getting caught out with the Shield of Daybreak, Caps goes in, kills off Humanoid, another stun. For Jun, he'll flash the wall. Yike might flash to chase, decides against it. Razzle's still there. Cooldown's coming back up. Pillar of Flame connects. The Seer does too. There's the stun. The root coming back out. Plays enough to kill off Yike. No, not quite as Razzle dies in the end. The burn will tick. And it ends up being a two for two. Now Humanoid comes to look to make it three for two. Can't quite find enough. The dynamic damage. of mid lane where now Cops gets a ton of push there. So if Hans Simon and Mickey can get push on bot as well, it can set up for Yike to play a little bit more aggressive. But as you say, Yike's on his way across. Razzle's gonna get hooked up with a dredge line and he falls low first. Hans Summer will die, Razzle will be answered. But now Noah and Jun can open up. Yike has to run, uses the water walking through the river to escape. Fnatic forcing that Jin in particular was very scary. Razzle though not slowing down, sets his sights on the top lane. Broken Blade trying to survive here. Can't really do anything. Oh. Yeah, his attempt at surviving did not go too successfully. <laughs> I didn't see if he would use his Bellows Breath just before that, but wasn't able to stop any of that CC coming through. Now hook from Mickey mid onto Jun, but both going to step away. That's nice trade from Humanoid back though as Jun goes in deep. Jun jumps onto Caps, but then can Jun get away? Has the Aftershock True Shop Mirage will click the toes of Caps down to 150 HP. But it's it's up. just a kill on the top side for Fnatic. Razork really having so much impact on the map. The bot side of G2 forced to constantly play defensively. Now Mickey has to be careful. Thing is, uh, wait, no, no arcane shift to he gets there. Yeah, Noah has no arcane shift, does have the barrier, has the flash, but Hans Summer has a killer instinct. But in the end, Noah will get one. Hans Summer's holding the killer instinct here. Noah still has the barrier. There's the killer instinct barrier exchange. Hans Summer flashes the mystic shot. Oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh my goodness, it was <laughs> refillable dip. <laughs> forward, you think he's just gonna die. Yeah, I mean, the moment that he commits the E, oh, Never we're mind. back in the action. Whoa! <laughs> oh, switcheroo there as Mickey flashes, but he comes both, but can't quite land it. When will they learn their lesson <laughs> that Noah can kill Mickey? He just does the that. Grand final tickets at lec.gg forward slash Munich is Oscar winning. Okay. Razzle flashing forward. Thank you guys. I needed some action because I sped up <laughs> because I thought action was going to happen. So I'm glad Razzle decided to flash forward. Broken Blade has a flash of his own. The Pyrocladden going to follow him. He flashes away from Yike, but Yike's caught up with the Seer. Oscar tanks the tap. Razzle just <laughs> barely able to connect with the ultimate there. Towards Void Grubs. Start putting pressure on towards his bottom side off of the Triforce, being able to take chunks out of that turret on the bottom side. As now TP from Caps. Oscar Rinnan has the flash call to the foreshot coming down. Oscar flashes away from it, but Caps can continue to chase. Oscar Rinnan needs to try and get underneath the tower. Should be able to do so. Just slice and dice his way oh, out. Caps oh, goes Caps underneath, though. It. He wanted the TP about to come through. Caps, oh, Caps can't look it away. Oh my God. He misplays and he gets punished by Oscar. Now Broken Blade is overextended. Humanoid. I mean, Humanoid right. just kills him, right? Broken Blade under the tower with the culling. Can't get away. 12 to 4 now for Fnatic. Very much in control of this game. It's, this is an even better snowball than what we saw from Fnatic in the previous game. Their lead is only going to continue to build as they turn their attention towards this next outer tower. Remember that the plates haven't fallen yet. Flash solar flare from Jun. Yike caught under the tower. Strangle Thorns coming out. Humanoid tanks two shots. Mickey coming in as well. Oh, oh no! Oh. Benny, you said it was good. You cast them! Immediately, Noah tries to join the fight. Jun down to 200 HP, ticking with the ignite. Mickey falling low as Noah flashes in. True Shell Barrage coming out, but Caps will find Razork. And now Noah has to jump back in with the Arcane Shift. Caps in a 1v2. Might try and take the play. He's trying to take every single one before Noah. Stacking up the Arcane Shift off the Krux with that Mystic shot, jumps back forward, Mystic misses. That's where Fnatic take the step back for the moment to wait for those teleports to be up to oh, so humanoid. Them, oh, humanoid. Oh, humanoid. Oh, humanoid. 
Razzle flashing forward with the Pyroclasm will get a couple of bounces. The Riftail down as well. Broken Blade does have the call of the Forge God, but in the end, Humanoid dies. And in the top lane, oh. Oscar winning the target for Caps and Mickey as well. He's but Oscar trying to turn it back around. Noah coming in. Mickey trying to dodge away from the Mystic. Shot at TP in by Broken Blade. Can Caps survive for long enough for the backup of the call of the Forge God? Noah locked up with it. The Phosphorus Bomb lands, but Noah dashes forward. Misses the Arcane shot. Oscar winning, chasing Broken Blade down towards the bottom side. Another Mystic shot going wide as BB looking to rejoin with his mid laner, keeping Oscar at bay for long enough, it seems. Oscar goes in with the cold, the meek and the mystic shot finds its mark in the back of Caps. Meanwhile, in the bottom side, Jun dies. A Hans Summer gets a double kill. Yes, Noah got something. Broken Blade, he's got no pressure top side. They're going to be able to now push out that wave top and shift Yike. Caps cool. down. Solar Caps. Flare going in as well. They're just looking to jump onto him and they take out Caps. Jun underneath the tower, locked up. Depth charge going to come out, but he flashes away. So no longer has that turret aggro. Another kill, two Fnatic and a tier two to boot. All right, if you can just catch Caps, it doesn't really matter. So Fnatic able to make that pick work, and now starting to move up once more. They will reset, as you're going to oh, have Dragon in 20 no seconds. Yike and Mickey on the collapse here. No death charge, remember, but the oh. Strangle does out once again. G2 finds something, a shutdown going over as well. Jun will die, a double for Hans. And the Dragon in six seconds time. Could this be a Baron? The pings are coming down. G2 seem a bit indecisive, but they're going to commit towards it. Of course, there is still a very fed Renekton on the side of Fnatic. I do not think this will be as easy as G2 think. Razzle on the front line. Mickey flashing forward. The staggering blows connects. And even with a flash from Razzle, he is put six feet under. G2 strike back once again. The Baron, their prize for those picks found in bot. I mean, what do you say at this stage? Fnatic again stumble past the 20 minute mark, giving G2 that moment, that small window. And G2 sees it with both hands. They're barroned up. They can start to collect more waves, get to a later portion of the game, maybe even crack some of these objective bounties on these outer turrets. And look at the items now for Hans Summer. Slow the game down, the deficit only 5k for them now as Fnatic, well, they've been in this spot before as G2 begins to collapse on the top side. Jun is here, Razzle coming in as well. The Zenith Blade's gonna land onto Mickey, TP in, Stranglethorn's used as well as Oscar dives in. The tower falls before he can kill off your like. And now with the call of the Forge God, it's two already. Noah and Humanoid and Razzle, what can you do in the face of five from G2? Do you have the power to stop them in their tracks. There's another wave on its way in. The Baron remains for 30 seconds, and what was looking like inconsequential, just the delay of game, is now looking like perhaps a tier one, a tier two, two kills. Maybe more for G2. They still have 25 seconds left, and Fnatic have to hold onto their base. If they lose the inhibitor tower now, it opens up the push pressure for G2. Noah trying to put the Mystic shots down, but he can't get through G2's front line. And there's the inhibitor tower, and there's the inhibitor. And every time we say something good about Fnatic, G2 to show why they are so... Oh, look at the Void Seekers, just needs another to land here. Caps comes in, Noah dashes across with the Arcane Shift across the wall, still has the flash, but with the call of the Forge God coming down, Noah has dived in again, and he has been put into the grave by G2. You wonder in these moments what's going through the minds of the player. Well, G2, I can tell you, are thinking Look at top. about Look at top. the title. The minions pushing in top. The super's there, bolstered by Broken Blade CP. Gauss is going to reset and has a TP of his own to boot. He can join up with BB. The Bellows breath enough to keep Broken Blade. Okay, for now, Cap CP's in, the rest of G2 coming round the corner, Jun, the only one trying to stand under the Nexus Tower is Humanoid sent packing, sent back to the fountain, and no matter what they do, Fnatic just can't find a way through. They stand apart, a cut above, untouchable. The G2 reign continues, as they are your summer split champions. A crazy way to end this series. G2 just end it like that. Look at the disappointment, the frustration on Noah's face. He knows the mistake that he made at the end, and G2 was so... I think you can lift it, guys. G2 are <laughs> oh, summer split champions.